Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I make videos for all you 20-somethings out there who want to have better health, style, and if you want to create a life you love, then I am the channel for you. Today I'm going to be talking about how to style jean shorts for the summertime. I feel like everybody has that staple jean short that they love for the summer. It's just been so good to them. It fits them in the waist. It's it's just the perfect short. However, if you don't already have that perfect jean short in your closet, they're super easy to find nowadays now that it's getting a little sunnier out. I would definitely suggest checking out Levi's. They have some really, really great jeans and shorts, not sponsored or anything, just like Levi's. I chose to style shorts just because I do feel like it's a staple in a lot of people's closets. So let's just jump into the video. I'm really excited about this one. It's gonna be super fun, so let's get into it. There are a few items I'm going to use throughout the video, starting with these Levi's 501 shorts. I think they're super cute and comfy and good for any summer day. And they don't give you that butt sweat that you get sometimes. Like, I don't know, it's just a very breathable fabric. So I really, really like that. Getting into shoes, my favorite part. I decided to go with a girly option that would kind of go with everything, so these nude pumps. And then these white vans. I kind of feel like everyone has a pair of white shoes, so I thought those would be easy, and these black Timberlands. I went with some daintier jewelry that would just look nice and kind of go with the color schemes of these outfits. Outfit number one I think is really cute and simple. I just paired these jeans with my skeleton dancing Brandy Melville shirt. I think this shirt is really unique and super cute and I just tuck it in for a more defined look in the waist. Then I don't lose my waist and it just looks a little bit better. And I paired it with those white vans I showed you earlier. A really, really great shoe to have in your closet as a staple. And then for outfit number two, this sweater is from ASOS from the men's section. I actually DIY'd it and cut it. And I just pulled that necklace out to kind of elongate my neck and give a little more structure to the shirt itself. This is a great example of DIYing because I never would have worn this otherwise. My boyfriend actually gave it to me because it didn't fit. Outfit number three makes me feel like Emma Roberts in Coven from American Horror Story. I just love this Sherpa jacket. I think it adds such a nice texture to the outfit, especially since it is simple, but it looks a lot more dressed up when you add this jacket. And I just matched it with those white shoes. Then I wanted to change into my black boots and kind of go for a darker theme here. And I got out the old fanny pack. One thing I did want to touch on is I used everything I had in my closet to make these outfits and honestly you can too. There's so many, so many different ways you can style things together by tying something up or tucking something in or adding a shoe or an accessory that you may not normally add. It can really, really elevate the outfit and make you stand out and just look a little more fashionable overall. And as I'm looking at this footage, I really don't love this outfit anymore, but it's a pretty cute, like, skater girl-esque. Oh, I hated saying that. Ugh. And let's take a minute to talk about this bodysuit, this square neckline, this super flattering color on my skin tone. I don't know why, but that gray-green, green? green? <laughs> Gray-blue looks really good. But I think this outfit really speaks to my inner brunch bitch, and I just pull up and pick up my girls and we go get some healthy acai bowls or you know I'm, it's really waffles we're getting waffles um but you know i paired them with these heels and i'm gonna confront something here i am a tall tall person and i used to be really nervous about wearing heels because i didn't want to tower over people but i am a grown ass lady and i can rock a pair of heels and nobody can fucking tell me i can't so suck it I wanted to also film this in my mirror just because I don't have a wide angle lens and I wanted you guys to see the whole outfit. So this is the top and then I paired them with these really, really cute, simple nude heels to kind of give it more of a, uh, you know, like more of an oomph, but yeah. I'm sorry, but that just never gets old. I don't care, but that's just great. Cheesy transitions aside, this shirt is from Gypsy Warrior. It's just a classic white long sleeve button down, and these are so versatile to have in your wardrobe, especially in neutral color, so it can really go with any bottom. But I love this shirt, it's super breathable and nice for the summertime, even though it is a long sleeve. 
this outfit really screams i'm a mom but my husband owns a boat and we're having a date with champagne and strawberries on the boat right now i don't know why it's so specifically that but it, it just is but on the other hand i feel like you could do a calvin klein perfume shoot with this outfit and uh, no one would question it no one would question it I, I think you could do it if boats and perfume shoots are popping up in your life you should probably buy this exact outfit because it is right for you and that jump was so just i put no effort into that jump at all what was i even doing with my hands but you know what's not awful this outfit <laughs> I think this outfit is super cute. I feel scholarly, I feel smart. I feel like I'm gonna save the bees and write my thesis and get my degree in psychology with a minor in everything else. I just feel very smart in this and the collar adds a really nice detail around the neck. That color is like a sky blue and I think it's so, so beautiful. This is a warmer one, so you could maybe get away with this in fall, but you could also wear this with jeans really easily or, you know, a skirt, whatever you want. You could pair it with anything and it would be cute. Got a pocket full of coupons, we going on well. And you know I got them refills. Got my dimes and the coffee vents playing on the JBL. And I just want to like say something here. If you're trying to like find your style or, you know, find your look, I think style is so like fluid and it changes so much. But if that's what you're looking to do, I wouldn't suggest like going out and buying all new clothes. You know, look at what you already have and try to style what you already have because that's a pretty good indication of what you like. So don't go out and just buy something because you see it on Instagram or whatever. Like actually style what you have and you can really really do a lot with not a huge closet i really don't own that many pieces so i try to utilize accessories and changing things up every now and again but i do love this outfit so much this shirt i just got from nasty gal it was on sale it says stay wild moon child on it and i think it is adorable it's so comfortable and it's going to be a summer staple for me i can just i can just feel it like that sun those hippie vibes that that's that's my type of shit so I love this outfit so much and this is just probably one of the girliest tops I own if I were to ever go to a botanical garden or you know just something very classy I would wear this top but I paired it with this army green jacket just to kind of dress down the girliness and kind of balance it out a little bit but you can also take it off if it gets hot I think it's just a super cute, casual, super comfortable look too. If you're into comfort, then I suggest these shirts. And they're also sort of adjustable, so if it is like a very, very hot day and you need a bit more of a crop in there, then you can kind of just zhuzh it up a little bit and, or bring it back down for some modesty. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a blast filming this. Honestly, it was probably one of my favorite videos I've filmed so far on this channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. I make new videos every few days and I would love for you guys to be a part of the family. I hope that you're doing well wherever you are and things are looking up. And look out for a new video from me coming soon. That's your